This morning's been absolutely crazy. Adam, of course, I met him last video. Um, he's had a busy morning because he's been sorting out his flat. I've had a busy morning because I didn't have enough pants or socks for this trip. So <laughs> I had to go to Broadway and get some new pants and socks. So every <laughs> everything will be covered. Right, check in. Let's do this. So we're heading to Bali today because this is going to be my retreat running from Sunday with the Wanderlust Fitness Retreat crew. Um, this is the second retreat I've done in nearly four months. The last one's absolutely amazing. We had like 15 people come out to Bali and you know it was people from all walks of life, all different places all over the world and it was more than just teaching them how to lift weights and improve their technique. It became more of like almost life-changing I reckon for a few of them because they're traveling on their own meeting new people and yeah it was just hectic really enjoyed it so we're going again another 10 or 11 people coming this time around so looking forward to meeting them all on Sunday Bali, baby. Mad queues here normally when you get through this little security checkpoint. Get out the way, get out the way, get out the way. We fucking made it. I've changed all this at the airport. Right, so we just arrived at the villa. I'm gonna give you a quick tour before we go for a quick beer at Old Man's. Let's start right here. So, this is the living area. It's our MTV crib. when you're in the room in Bali so you don't get eaten by mosquitoes this is Adam's room Yoo-hoo Happy days It's gonna be sick Out to Wanderlust Bali, this is absolute CrossFit weightlifting heaven. Okay, I'm going to show you around this place in a minute, but I'm coming here because we're doing my retreat at this place. Dave, who's an absolute legend, which you'll meet in a few days' time, is created something amazing here. You know, this is real like for anyone that's into their fitness, weightlifting, CrossFit, like I said, it is the bomb. So, I'm going to show you a little bit around this place. We're going to have my retreat here over the next few days, which is just going to be nuts so i take the guys like i said through all different sorts of weightlifting they come here and they've like not necessarily had any weightlifting practice at all so i take them right through from scratch so we're about to do our first training session at wanderlust adam's joined me behind the camera he's not done any crossfit before so i'm gonna try and take him a little bit easy but we're gonna go for 10 rounds 20 cow assault bike 10 leg raises and 10 burpees till we finish <laughs> It's gonna be spicy, but anyway, have a look around the gym. So whenever we're in Bali, I always feel the need to do a little bit more cardio because you have to have your shirt off when you're around here and I don't want to be looking fat, especially when I'm drinking loads of bintang. So I'm always gonna mix up between CrossFit and weightlifting, so at least I get my good bits done at the end, but we're still gonna have a little bit of sweat. This, my friend, is called an ass bike, because it's 
it's gonna kick your ass. Cause I be steady running on the east side. My team ride. So what you finna do? Shorty wanna come into the sweet light. Or green light. I pull up in the cool. You don't really know about me, right? She lied. You cute. So I'm doing with this workout. I'm not trying to absolutely kill myself, although you can hear me breathing now. I'm just trying to work at like 70% capacity. So I often will do this instead of like going, right, I need to hit a certain time or a certain target. I'll just aim for how hard I feel I'm working on that given day. That way you don't set yourself expectation too high or too low, especially after traveling. You're just trying to get the right stimulus on the body, which is more important than actually trying to hit a target for a day, especially when you're just straight off the blade. And a lot of tequila last night. Check. No, cause they show him respect. Cause I be steady running on the east side. My team ride. So what you finna do? Shorty wanna come into the sweet light. Or green light. I pull up in the cool. And y'all really know about me, right? She like, you cute. I be outside all day, whole crew. Red fresh ride, always so new. She be like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shorty wanna ride, yeah, yeah. Better feel the vibe, yeah, yeah. I be like, Coming back to that sort of training after not doing any CrossFit for a while is so tough. Yeah, I mean it's harder for me. I mean you've been training consistently, but mm. I tend to train hard and then I take breaks. And it's probably been three months since I last trained, and it's it's hard to to go into training and realize that you've had that time off, maybe just go a little easier on yourself. Yeah, I think like, like you said, like knowing where you were or how good you used to be, and you always try and revert back to trying to compare how fit you were, how strong you were. So you go back into training, you're automatically you're demotivated because you're not as fit as you was. And I think like for me, it took me years to be able to accept the fact that, you know, I'm not spending as much time as I was focusing on training, I'm spending a lot more time on my business, I train half the amount of time I used to, but it's not about trying to go back to where I was at, I just try and be better than I was the last session and like, you know, for us, like, we'll come back in tomorrow and if we can make something similar to that sort of workout feel like 10% better than it just was, then win it. Let's hope so. <laughs> We all finished up, did my 150 squats, did three sets of three at that and it felt comfortable. Not too much pain, so that is the session over and done. We're now gonna head to Ammo Spa, get a massage, get nails done, get toenails done, get a haircut, get looking sexy, ready for the retreat. See you later. Remember when I had to hide out, hide out. Yeah. Go popping right now, right now. She used to play, used to get up in my face, let them do that shit today, mom. The lights out. Lights I've been out, on a wave, tell me where you hype now. Yeah.